Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you are finding the grace of the Almighty God. So, students, as you know that we have already started the uh, revision of the chapter that is from the social and political life, and our topic of the chapter is stereotypes, prejudice, and the discrimination. Okay. So, what we are going to learn in this chapter is about the stereotypes, prejudice, and the discrimination. So, let's get started without wasting our time. So, we all are different from each other. Yes, we all are different from each other. Our behavior, our uh, habits does not match with each other, okay? Our face, okay? All of us speak different languages also, eat different kinds of foods, have different kinds of tradition, and the religions are, are also different, okay? And the religions are also different. As you know that the religions and the diversity, uh, everything is different. The part of being different is known as a diverse. What does diversity do? Diversity enriches our life. Okay. Diversity enriches our life. And however, not everyone appreciates diversity. People who are different from the others are often, often uh, subjected to unfair treatment in the society. Like for example, a person, you can say, a person, your friends only, I will say, your, among your friends only, you are not respecting him or her, okay? To your friends, you are not respecting equally how you are treating other friends also, only. Then what will be, this is what? Discrimination, okay? This will lead to the discrimination. The unfair treatment in the society, leads to the what? Discrimination. Now, what does the discrimination mean? Okay. Discrimination refers to the practice of treating a person or a group less fairly, okay, less fairly than others. Okay, less fairly than others. Like for example, unequal treatment is called what? Discrimination in a simple word. What does the discrimination mean? Unequal treatment is known as a discrimination. Okay, the unequal treatment is not, is what? The discrimination. Generally, people are discriminated on the basis of the grounds of their skin color. Okay, they are discriminated on the basis of their kind of the skin color, caste, race, religion, then occupation, work they do, gender, etc. People who are discriminated are looked down upon the denied and the benefit, the status available to the others in the society. See, a person has got plenty of money, he's very rich, okay, or she's very rich. The, that particular person is being respected in the society and other is not being respected in the society. Now, this is what? This is an unfair treatment and this leads to the word discrimination. You can see the picture in the page number 201, okay? Where the watchman is standing there. I'll just show the photo to you. Okay, you can see this one. Okay, on your screen also I'm showing you. Where the watchman is standing here. Is not allowing the poor person to get into the restaurant. Though the poor person has got money. Okay, though the poor person has the money to pay the bill of the restaurant. The, poor, the watchman will not allow him and the poor lady to get inside. What is the reason? Because of their clothes. They are not wearing the proper clothes. The clothes are torn, you can see. Okay? Their clothes are torn. Understood? As a result, their clothes are torn. For that reason, they are not being allowed to enter into the restaurants. Now, according to the clothes, the pupil is respected. This is also a discrimination. As we know, that pupil should not be means disrespected in this way. Okay, so you see, discrimination arises out of the negativity in the mind. Okay, there is a negativity in the mind, then the discrimination will arise. Okay, then this negativity opinion of the pupil about the person or the group, this negative opinion can be also be termed as a prejudice and orders and the stereotypes. 
Now you may think what is prejudice and the stereotypes as we have already learned, okay? This is the revision part for this season. I'm repeating it again. That prejudice is a presuming or the forming opinion about the persons or the group without much thought or knowledge. Okay, what is prejudice? It is the opinion or the forming the opinion about others without much thought or knowledge. Like for example, two boys or two girls are fighting. For example, I'm saying two boys or two girls are fighting. Suppose A is fighting with B and B is fighting with A. The fault of A is that he bet to B by knowingly. Okay, now listen. A has bet to B knowingly. B has no fault. But B also got angry. Why I should get beating from A? As a result, both are fighting. The other persons are watching. This kind of things are happening in the society. Yes. So the other persons are watching them. And we'll say, you know, this person is, uh, this boy, now it is boys are very bad, very naughty, simply, simply fighting. Okay. Some may say, hey, no, B has the problem. You know, B is naughty, that boy, that B is naughty. A is very good. Even now you see, may that person who is passing the com comments, they do not know them properly, but they are forming an opinion. Okay. They are forming an op opinion about how the situation is. Okay. This is called what prejudice, which are without having much knowledge, passing the comments. This is what prejudice is. Some people are also prejudiced on the basis of the religious, then economic status. People suppose those, those who do not have enough religion knowledge, they will say, hey, this religion is like this. That religion is like this. Some people also say about the politics, they talk about the politics, that this government is not good, that government is not good, government is not doing the good thing. May the person will not have the proper knowledge of the what the government is doing or how the government is being functioned. But they will do the what? Prejudice. We speak, they will speak about the other people, okay, about the skin color of the people. When we treat people in the unfavorable way, we tend what? To hurt them. Thus, we must avoid judging people. We must educate ourselves about the different cultures, languages, and religions of the world. Also, we must treat the people with the help of the, you can say, equality with the respect and the affections. Now, stereotypes. Stereotypes is judging the people on the basis of the preconceived opinion about the community or the group of the people. Like, for example, a boys, boys are very good at, you know, uh, games. Girls are good at cooking. This is a perfect example which is given in your book also. Boys are good at games and girls are good at cooking. You can say that I'll be giving a very good example to you. There is a chef named Sanjeev Kapoor. You may not know it. The chef Sanjeev Kapoor. Okay. He's the best known chef. He's a very good in cooking. Okay. Now you see that though he is not a girl or woman, but he's the best in cooking. Okay. Now we can say the statement that it is a just a preconceived idea that girls are good in cooking, boys are not good in cooking. Girls can be also good in games and sports and activities. Girls can also play the cricket. Boys can be good in the cooking. Okay, it is not about that girls only has means uh, can do or cook well. Boys also can cook well. Girls also can be play better sports than the compared to the boys. Okay. We are running with the, our preconceived ideas. Girls are good at studying. Boys are not good at studying. Girls can concentrate more. But no, it is not like this. Boys also can be good at studying. Okay. This all are what? Stereotypes. We just make the image 
of about the fixed unfair ideas which we are having about the capabilities however in the reality girls may outperform better than the boys in the sports while boys can be renowned you know renowned cook like i have told already like chef sanjeev kapoor yes then you see the next what i have said is that similarly the stereotypes can be found among the different pupils who belong to the rural areas and the urban areas while people who live in the village are seen poor and backward people who live in the cities are considered as the rich and the modern you see if we live in the cities we are a very rich people it is not like so okay in the city also there are lots of you poor people are there but people of the villages say what that the city people are rich okay they are modern but the some now it is the village people are also rich and modern this all are the stereotypes every individual is a unique personality they are having with the special set of skills talents and achievements which creating stereotypes hinders outlooks of the towards the world it forces us to the level people as per as assumptions and created by the society at the large instead by of respecting individual for the unique traits okay now you see this all are the stereotypes okay so striving for equality we all are fighting for the equality you know yes we all are fighting for the equality that every man should be respected in india certain types of the work such as cleaning washing picking up the garbage are considered undignified and are dirty by some people because they do the bad works okay they are not respected because they are cleaning the drain they are cleaning the toilets okay they are disrespected in the society people who practice this occupation have been sus- subjected to the discrimination in the olden days this belief okay this belief that certain jobs are impure okay stems from the caste system means only the lower caste people can only do the low work okay like cleaning of the trains washing of the clothes etc the caste system was prevalent in the ancient times it divided the society into the groups as far as occupation practiced by the people while the first three class were considered as the superior the fourth was considered to be the inferior as its member performed the tasks as picking the garbage removing the dead animals from the village the members of the fourth caste were called as untouchables in hindi it is achhut these people were forced in the leave separately in the society and were denied the opportunities okay in the of education employment and the public facilities are also they were not getting and they were forced to work in inhuman conditions if they that particular people want to develop also they they are not allowed today the people of the so called lower caste are referred to the scheduled caste and they are also getting some special reservation in the government sector in india women tribals and the peasants which we are having have been experiences unequal and unfair treatment constitution of the india and the respect for diversity the fight against the inequalities and the prevent in the indian society was started much before the making of the constitution of india people who were discriminated started organizing themselves and demanding the their various rights to lead a dignified life for example women started demanding the right to education the civil caste also started to fight for gaining the access to the public places and facilities such as the entry into the temples they were not allowed okay and some of the however in some the post independence okay in some post independence period the farmers and the of the constitution or the famous who were there okay the framers of the indian constitution who are there they thought there should be certain rights and should be there in order to 
make the equality in the society and irrespective of the caste class gender religion etc they made the constitution of india equal for everyone the following are the some of the provisions which i will say about the constitution that try to achieve the equality okay means respect in equal in the society you have to learn that okay untouchability has been abolished by the law that is important this lines is very important okay fundamental rights have been provided to the people to secure them freedom and equality for example people are free to practice the occupation of their choice okay all the citizens are to be treated equal before the law it also funda it is also a fundamental right of the citizen to be entitled to move to the court in the case of their fundamental rights are being violated the government is responsible to provide the poor and other discriminated groups in the society with the sufficient opportunities of the education and the employment the government is also authorized to take the special steps to protect the rights of the women children and other sections of the society that have been subjected to discrimination however even today discrimination continues to exist in the different sectors okay in the different forms of the society thus we must avoid creating prejudices and the stereotypes to make the world better for living for everyone in the society in the case study you see okay in the case study we will see the discrimination in some of the other form he always uh, existed in all the parts of the world mahatma gandhi okay who is also known as the to fight for the discrimination extensively okay he also faced many racial discrimination in the south africa where he was regarded he is a black okay he was regarded as a black indian and he was not respected at all once gandhi bought a first class ticket railway ticket to pretoria however by traveling he was forced to move to the third class railway compartment by the ticket collector for being non white passenger when the gandhi refused okay when the gandhi refused he was pushed out of the train okay he was pushed out of the train and as a result the incident proved to be the turning point in the gandhi's life and has motivated him for to fight for the human rights first of all he fought against the repressive policies of the government in the south africa Thereafter, he was worked extensively for the upliftment of the people from the lower caste in India. He renamed untouchable as the Harijans, which means the children of God. So, dear yes, students, we have completed the explanation and the revision of the chapter. If you have doubt or something, then you are free to ask me. You are all free to call me up. I hope that you are studying well in your house. Okay, so. Best of luck for your exam, upcoming exam. Till then, take care. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone.